25. Blast a lemon on high power for about 20 seconds to make it super juicy. 24. By putting parsley and other herbs in your microwave on high for a couple of minutes, you can dry them up without any waste. 23. For peeling garlic, blast one clove on full power for about 15 seconds. It'll be a lot easier now. 22. Yes, it's actually possible to rehydrate stale bread. Just wrap the bread in a wet towel and microwave on high power for bursts of about 10 seconds. Repeat until you're satisfied with the moistness. 21. Did your chips lose their crunch? Just place them on a towel in the microwave and heat them up a bit. The towel will absorb the moisture and the chips will regain their crunch. 20. Need a hot compress? Simply put a damp towel in the microwave for about a minute and you're good to go. 19. To get rid of all those lumps in your brown sugar, simply place a damp towel in the sugar box, close the lid, and heat the box up for about 20 seconds. The sugar will come out lump free. 18. Here's a trick you're sure to appreciate. Place a bowl of water containing a bit of vinegar in the microwave for about five minutes. The inside of it will get nice and steamy and all the food stains will come right off with a few good wipes. 17. To test whether something is microwave safe, simply take a cup that you already know is and fill it with cold water. Place the cup on a container or dish you would like to test and put both in the microwave. After one minute of heating, if the water is hot and the container is cold, it's microwave safe. However, if the container is hot and the water is cold, then beware, the container is not microwavable. 16. Fruits like peaches and tomatoes peel much easier if you put them in the microwave for about 30 seconds first. Just make sure to let them stand for about two minutes before you actually peel them. 15. On the topic of microwaving fruits and vegetables, some with relatively thick skins require extra precautions when being microwaved for extended periods. This includes potatoes, tomatoes, and squash. Make sure you poke holes in them beforehand, because if you don't, the peels will likely trap steam and possibly even cause them to explode. 14. To remove postage stamps with ease, all you have to do is put a few drops of water on it and microwave for 20 to 30 seconds. It'll come right off. 13. Hate getting teary-eyed over cutting onions? Simply cut off the ends and microwave the onions for about 30 seconds before chopping. Your eyes will never water again. 12. Did your honey get all gross and crystallized? By removing the lid and heating it on 50% power for about 2 minutes, you can restore that old jar to its former sticky, silky glory. 11. Cooking fish in the microwave can be tricky, but here are some really quick tips. First, make sure you dry the fish well. Secondly, if you have multiple cuts, overlap the thin tail ends so the pieces cook evenly. And thirdly, remove the fish before it's fully cooked, as it will continue cooking on its own once you take it out. 10. If your recipe required you to soak beans or lentils overnight and you forgot, don't worry, we have a hack for you. Place the beans in a bowl with a bit of baking soda and submerge them in water. Microwave on high for 10 minutes and then let them sit for about 40. That's one night's worth of soaking in less than an hour. 9. Because how hard is it to poach an egg properly? Actually, it's quite simple. Put boiling water in a microwave safe bowl, see number 17, add some white vinegar and crack the egg into the bowl. Lightly pierce the yolk with a toothpick and cover the bowl with cling wrap. Microwave for 30 seconds. Turn the egg over and cook again for 20 more seconds. Enjoy. 8. Microwaving your sandwiches with paper towels around them allows the towels to absorb the moisture that would otherwise make your sandwich soggy. 7. By toasting your nuts, seeds, and spices in the microwave in 15 second bursts, you can really draw out a nice aroma. 6. If you don't have white vinegar as number 18 suggested, just wad up some wet paper towels and microwave them for about 5 minutes. They will steam things up on the inside, and when they cool down, you can just use them to easily wipe off the grime. 5. Need a quick breakfast? Just beat some eggs with some milk and cheese in a bowl, add some salt and pepper, and microwave for a minute and a half. Remember to stop at about the 45 second mark to stir the eggs. 4. This one is a bit tricky, but it will definitely impress your friends. Spread some Parmesan cheese in a pizza-like circle on some parchment paper. 
microwave it until it's golden brown. Now, working quickly, take the circle of Parmesan cheese and place it over an upside down bowl, so it assumes the shape. Place another upside down bowl over the cheese so that it's pressed between the two and wait for a bit. Now, fill the bowl with salad and congratulations, fancy pants, you're basically French. Three. So, re-crunchifying potato chips is cool, but actually making them is even cooler. The hardest part comes first. Slice some potatoes as thin as you can and arrange them on a plate. Microwave them in three minute bursts, flipping them and decreasing the power level each time. Now go forth and impress your friends! 2. Want some corn on the cob? Just put it in the microwave, husk and all. After several minutes, the husk will slide right off and the corn will be sweet and tender. 1. Simply mix all the dry ingredients of brownies, sugar, cinnamon, cocoa, salt, flour, vanilla, oil, and water in a coffee mug until there are no lumps, and microwave for about two minutes. You can thank us later. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these two videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.